when she walks into a room, people really do sit up a little taller. They take notice. They listen because they know that she may not be the first in the room to say something, but she will always be the one in the room that says the most important thing. She always is herself. She is very authentic. And because of that, everyone enjoys not only working with her, but learning from her. I am from a small town in central North Dakota, north central North Dakota. The town is Rugby. I had seven siblings, and uh, of the eight of us, there were seven girls and one boy. My parents were uh, small town business owners. My dad was a watchmaker, and he had a jewelry store. Uh, I had this interest maybe early on in, in numbers and in business, and so part of my child rearing was really being involved in my parents' business from a very young age. And so when I think about my dad as a business owner, Owner, my mom as his bookkeeper, just the combined uh, unit they were to work hard uh, to establish that sense of values, the integrity that you bring, the responsibility you have as a person to uh, figure out and the opportunity you have as a person to make impact in your work. And I would uh, always lean back on those values and have that great appreciation for what they taught me. I met my husband in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin area when I was going to graduate school. We, um, we moved to the Twin Cities in 19. And I started working for Marquette Banks. And during my time at Marquette Banks, it was sold twice. And so I had a chance to go to Excel Bank in 2002, and I was there for five years. And uh, in 2012, I had a chance to join Bremer, I'm the CEO for the Twin Cities Separate Chartered Bank, because we still had separate charters at that time. And uh, four years into the uh, organization, um, our CEO decided to retire. And I decided to throw my hat in the ring for that opportunity. She is just a level five leader, perseverance, humility. That's really what it takes to succeed. And she brings it every day and in every way. When I became the CEO of Bremer, we really weren't aligned with a single strategy. And what I am most proud of is the opportunity to look at this organization as a whole and bring it together as one Bremer. We use that term uh, not as a cliche, but really as a, a, as a behavior of how we work for the benefit of our customers and our communities. And I, I really had the opportunity to set forth a new strategy for the organization that uh, leveraged all the talents we had across our footprint and, and within uh, our organization, all the variety of expertise really to benefit our customers and our communities. A, a great leader is one that helps peop other people accomplish rather than feeling a great need to do it all yourself. So you can have a great strategy, but that strategy is only as good as people executing that strategy. And the way they do that is because they feel empowered, uh, they're high performing, and they're engaged. And I think as a CEO, that is one of the most uh, important parts of the job, is to uh, embrace what you're doing and, and take that forth into the team. Every place she's been, she's had a major impact, whether that's in the banking world or in the community of the greater Twin Cities area. When I think about giving back, I think about the importance of having an opportunity that uh, is full for all members of the community. And that really has driven um, my interest and ability to get involved. Uh, I have a particular passion around housing, and so I've been able, over the last number of years, really have been able to take that particular interest and get involved and, and learn a lot in the process of that involvement. What I want to be remembered for is, is really just as a person who cared, uh, someone who was grateful for what they had uh, in terms of uh, all the blessings of life. We have uh, made a great life for ourselves here. We have been married now 28 years. We have three amazing sons. But from a work experience, I really hope it's about uh, the ability to to drive forward uh, the, the understanding of how a team that works together can really succeed and do so much more than any individual can ever do. Jean is one of the most calm, cool, and collected leaders, really people, uh, I've, ever, I've ever met. And what's even more important about her is that she's got a great heart. And to have that in one person, in one leader, 
is really quite remarkable.